Next question is from Estella Moshkow. Of all the forms of cardio, which would you guys recommend? Well, this really depends on who I'm talking to. If you're like a performance person, uh, then that's going to be very different than if you're just a general health uh, and I want to be lean kind of person. Uh So if I'm talking to the general health, I just want to be lean. I want to maintain good health. I also do resistance training uh, regularly. Then the one form I'm going to recommend is walking. Yeah. It requires the least skill and technique, so I'm not worried about whether or not you can't run or cycle or swim properly. You're probably not going to hurt yourself walking, so that's number one. It's easy. You can do it anywhere, um, and it provides lots of health benefits. Um, you know, Studies show that just regular, consistent walking throughout the day has tremendous uh, health benefits. Now, if you're an athlete and you want to perform – a whole different ball game, uh, especially if I'm looking at a specific sport. Like if you're a runner, what kind of cardio am I going to recommend mostly? Running, right? Yeah, Cyclist, yeah. cycling, uh, right. and so on. So it really does depend a lot on the person. I, I always feel like we have such a hard time with these questions. Uh, ju- we just touched on something the other day about cardio, and I was going through the YouTube comments, and uh, you know somebody said that these guys really hate cardio, <laughs> don't, yeah. don't they? So wrong, and it is so wrong. And so I'm I'm always trying to think like, okay, how do I communicate this better so people understand that I don't hate cardio? Um, I just what I what I know is that most people that we don't know enough about this person who's asking this question of all forms of cardio, which would you guys recommend? I know nothing about this person. I don't know what their goals are. Way too generic. It, way it, and it's so so it's really tough to answer this for this person and people that are thinking in the same the same place as this person is right. So like to your point, Sal, like what you're trying to get out of it or get out, it matters everything. So if you're just want to be healthy and you know what would you well yeah of course then walking makes the move more yeah makes the most sense right yeah activity period if your goal which most people's goal is by the way lose body fat right to get leaner i think that it's a terrible form and and the reason why it's so terrible is because almost everybody that's ever sat in front of me and hired me to get them leaner and in better shape What's going on with them nutritionally and activity-wise to introduce cardio to that person is a terrible thing to do at that point. At that point, they're normally under-eating nutrients that their body needs, over-consuming crap that they they don't need. Mm -hmm. Their metabolism is slowed from years of being sedentary and under-eating than over-eating. This is perpetuate the problem. Right. And so then I get somebody who, and I look at their diet and I see, wow, this, you know, this male should be able to eat 3,000 to 3,500 calories and maintain a fit body. But what I'm looking at right now is somebody who eats 24 to 2,500 calories or so, doesn't move heartily at all. And they're overweight. Yeah, and they're overweight. And me introducing cardio to that person you're is- going to lose muscle. That's they're going right. to slow down the metabolism. That's exactly what's going to happen. And so I'm only working against what their real goal is. Yeah. Now, if you're somebody who w- likes to do cardio- and uh, you find it as meditative. You uh, feel the energy throughout your day because you do it. And then have fun with it. Then my answer to this question is change it up. Swim for a while. Row for a while. Walk on the treadmill for a while. Walk outside for a while. Like, And the whole novelty principle is going to be true here. So the, there's a lot of benefit to doing all those different forms. But just you need to really understand clearly what your desired outcome, what your goal is, mm-hmm. and why you're asking a question like yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, the general answer is your personal preference. Like, it, Honestly, it doesn't matter at all. Like sure. uh, To me, it's just about uh, creating more more opportunities for activity right. and you know, that's going to benefit you long term anyways but the, the the point is to your fat loss uh, point is most clients coming in that's their thought is i have to get on the treadmill i have to be on there at least an hour if i'm going to get any kind of progress with eat, like chipping away at my fat loss which you know we just know there's a better way to do it and yeah. approach it uh, and for me, like I, you know, working with athletes, I, I want to make it as specific as I can to having that translate to their specific sport on the field. And so if, if we're talking about like football, for instance, where I'm in it right now, you know, I'm looking at opportunities for, you know, 20 yard sprints, you know, 50 yard sprints. Like if you're a skilled player, like hundred yard sprints and, you know, having that kind of explosive uh, endurance so they could, you know, on any kind of moment, just boom, burst and run, but then come back and be gathered and, and not be completely yeah. gassed out. So uh, it, it, you got to look at those things of like how this is going to benefit me in my pursuits of these different type of activities. Yeah. No, that's a great point. Like if you have somebody who like, lo- like one of their 
favorite things to do. I have a client like this right now. She's getting ready to go. She signed up to hike Half Dome, right? So it makes sense to train that person to do something that is that's going to mirror the the time that the, the half dome would take to get up there or the, the legs, the, the elevations, the yeah, uh, hikes. Exactly. So carrying a backpack. Right. Or... So if you're in, if there's certain sports or activities that you're into, there's, there's modes of, of cardio that would match that, that would carry over to that. That makes sense to do that. But knowing your goal is so important here and it understanding is. what you're trying to get out of it. And I just, I think where we come off is cardio haters. It's not that it's that 90% of the clients that hired you or hired us wanted to get leaner, build muscle, lose body fat and where they're normally at in their, their current like state. That's like the worst thing they could do. It is. Yeah. And I'll tell you, look, I, I, just to put, you know, like a nail on that, right? If your goal is general health, and lo general health, longevity and body composition and aesthetics, and you also are not going to work out every single day. So you're not a fitness fanatic. Here's what your routine should look like. The base should be strength training. That's the base. So most of your efforts should be towards building muscle. It's a wonderful buffer against all of the issues of modern life. It speeds up your metabolism. It's very pro-youth hormone producing. So that's testosterone in men and growth hormone in men and women. It's good to balance out estrogen and progesterone. So that's the base. Then what's above that, that is less of a degree, daily activity. So now what do you do on top of that? Every day I do two or three 15-minute walks. Boom, now that's perfect. Okay, what's above that? Now I also incorporate some kind of a mobility or flexibility component. You know, two or three days a week, I'll do some stretching or some active type of, you know, uh, you know, mobility type of work. Now you've got kind of the perfect type of routine, but the base should be the strength training. Why? Because for that person, the most bang for your buck, the most you're going to get for the time spent by far is with uh, the resistance training. That's probably why sometimes people think we're anti-cardio. No, it's because... Mm. The, most people we're talking to, we know it's going to give them the best results. We know the amount of time that they want to devote to the gym. We know we've seen time and time again what happens to people when they do the wrong kind of exercise with those kinds of goals. And so in those cases, we're always going to make the case that strength training or resistance training should be the foundation of your routine.